Uh, this is myself, Sean, David, Nessa, and Emily's project. We did it on France and Spain. Uh, I did French languages, as my bit. Uh, French is the official language of 29 countries across the world. It's the 10th most spoken uh, co uh, language in the world. It is considered a Romance language because it is a derivative of uh, language that was spoken by Romans. And Portuguese and Italian are also languages of this sort. Um, French is taught by over 2 million teachers to over 300 million pupils across the world, so it's a really widely spoken language. Um, the French are very, this is French mannerisms, they're very conscious when it comes to mannerisms, and especially table runners. Um, it's considered very rude to eat before, if you eat before the uh, host or hostess of the meal, it says bon appetit, which translates to enjoy your meal. And uh, they're also very conscious of what version of the verb you use when you're speaking to someone. There is a to form and a vu form. So the to form is, is kind of, it's in, informal, you can talk to your friends like that, you can talk to your classmates like that. But if you were talking to an adult or a teacher or an elder, you'd use the vu form because it's much more um, respectful. There are over 25 regional languages spoken throughout France. They are split up into five different subsections. There's Italo-Dalmatian, Vasconic, Gallo-Romance, Celtic, and Germanic. And the most widely spoken immigrant language across France is Arabic. It's spoken by over 940,000 people. Um, originally, French invo was evolved from Latin in the ninth century. The oldest document that was written in French dates back to 842 AD and is known as the Stra Strasbourg Poets. Uh, Norman French was the most common form of French spoken until the 14th century, but this was replaced by Francien, which was widely spoken to them. Um, I have researched the norms and values of the French culture. So the first norm is greeting people. So when two women or a woman and a man meet each other in France, they would get, usually give each other a kiss, unless it's in a professional manner. When two men greet each other, they'd give a handshake unless they're closely related. And the number of kisses and the side that they kiss on varies throughout the French culture. Um, while the French are eaten, you're obliged to keep your hands on the table and not underneath it. And the, you must catch the waiter's attention by eye contact and not by shouting them across the restaurant. And the drinks that are served during a meal are wine and water usually. When the French are communicating with each other, money, politics and religious beliefs are not topics that should be discussed among groups um, and they tend to always be polite to each other. Um, on the street you must always walk on the right hand side when you're meeting someone and pedestrians always have the priority over vehicles in France and it's not permitted to go outside in your pyjamas even in your own property in France. <clears throat> and some of the values of the French culture are freedom. So in France you are free to do almost anything you want as long as you don't bother anyone else and you're free to think whatever you want and believe in any god you want so long as you keep it private because your faith is considered to be personal and you shouldn't be displayed in public areas. And all men and women are equal and will remain equal in France. And the same laws apply to everyone and try to do the same for everyone and anyone can sue anybody in France. And racial profiling is strictly forbidden in or as a religion. I studied languages in Spain. Um, like many countries nowadays, Spain is a combination of many different languages due to migration from foreign countries. Um, as shown here, Roma Romania and Ecuador have the two highest number of migrations. Uh, in Ecuador, they speak Spanish, but in Romania, Romanian is one of the leading for um, other languages spoken in Spain, including Arabic and English. Um, Obviously, Spanish is the official language of the country, but uh, Spanish is broken into many different co-official languages, which are in different regions and territories. Um, to the north is Basque, such, in, such as in cities in Bilbao, as Bilbao uh, Catalan to the east, and uh, 
in central Spain they speak Castellanian Spanish in countries such as Spain and Sevilla. And the history of the Spanish language, over 480 million people worldwide speak Spanish, it's the uh, world's third most spoken native language after Hindi and Chinese. Um, the Spanish language has a long history of change, um, such as in the dictatorship of Franco in 1868. Um, the regional languages got, um, were punished, but uh, in, due to the democracy now they're allowed to be spoken again. Um, verbal communication in Spanish, it's uh, the span, verbally it has 27 letters, it has five double letters to make other sounds. Uh, such as C H L L or or G U and Q U and it's a very high context uh, language. Um, Spain falls into this category alongside countries such as Japan, China, and France. Um, high ca contextual language means that they communicate indirectly. Um, often expressions are reserved and inward, um, and there's a strong sense of family in such countries. It's common. Uh, Spanish words are hola, uno, gracias, um, luna, canta, come. Um, and just a few facts about the Spanish language. It's the third most used language on the internet with over 256.8 uh, million users. Um, Spanish is one of the six official languages of the United Nations and there are 21 countries worldwide with, with Spanish as their official language. Um, I researched the norms and values in Spain. Um, norms and values are our attitude in society, our behaviour and what we consider normal. Uh, sometimes we are unaware about how norms and values can influence us. Um, in Spain, they greet each other formally by saying buenos dias, senor, senora or sen senorita. Buenos dias mean, is good day, buenos tardes is good evening and buenos noches is good night. Um, they kiss each other uh, on both cheeks, uh, greeting each other as well. Um, and when talking on the phone, they don't, uh, they address their name first, and usually they don't ring between two and five because that's uh, during siesta. Um, siesta is uh, nap time in Spain where usually the uh, shops and bars close down during the day for a break. Um, in Spain, they eat uh, healthy foods like fish and bread and lots of vegetables. Uh, this is uh, a dish of Spain called paella. Um, and it is normally seafood, vegetables, and sometimes rice. Um, they have dinner usually late at nine or 10. Uh, they also uh, drink a tomato soup cold called gazpacho. Um, in Spain, uh, traditionally, there has always been bullfighting, which consists of the, a man in the ring waving a red flag at the bull, um, and then he stabs the bull until the bull dies. Um, this is declining in Spain because of uh, animal welfare issues and people see it as very cruel. Um, most, the, the, most people in Spain are Roman Catholic, um, up to 80% are. Um, most, a lot of people in Spain don't attend Mass anymore though because they see it as um, time wasting and it is the kind group as a whole has a big interest in sport. We all play something, and uh, we decided to do the sporting similarities between the two nations. Um, you look here, Spain won the World Cup in 2010, and France won it in 2018, with a really young squad, brilliant squad. They're both massive powerhouses when it comes to football, and um, they, uh, although they have differences in sport, like there's bullfighting is a big sport in Spain, and cycling is huge in the Tour de France, and they come together every four years and every two years during the Euros to play soccer against each other and compete and there's massive rivalry between between two nations. Uh, thanks for watching our presentation on the languages and norms and values in both France and uh, Spain. Uh, hope you learned something new. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you.